right, so I'm gonna have two videos probably today, but the first one, my legacy pool. Notice anything strange about it? Hmm, I have 52 out of 50. That I will be getting to in the next video, shortly following this. But, as you guys know, I had two survivors that were crashing my legacy pool. I thought it was two. There are three. We have Grey Tack right below me. If I go down to him, he will crash it. We have uh, this guy to my left, Vencio Malloy. But there was a third guy. I did not realize until I figured out what the problem was and how to fix it. Hence, that is what I'm going to be doing today. I am going to be showing you what causes this problem and fixing it before UL does. Because I'm not going to sit around on my ass waiting for them to fix it. I'll fix the damn thing myself, and I'll show you guys how to fix it. Granted, this is at your own risk, so take it with a grain of salt. And not many people are going to have this problem. So as I'm going to go to my right, and this is going to crash the game. And you can see the music has stopped. It is about to crash. Subject Z is a character I did create. So it has nothing to do with created characters at all. Just so you guys know. And it's hung here. Uh, it should crash any second. Sometimes it just hangs and hangs and hangs and hangs. But anyway, you can see I'm... Comp you hear me pressing the buttons. I cannot do anything. Can't do shit. Can't do anything. There it goes. It has crashed. Okay. So now I'm going to switch over to Community Editor, show you the problem, fix the problem, then we will load the game back up. See you in a minute. All right. Here we are in Community Editor. And what I forgot to mention before we came in here to do this, um, create a fresh community because we're going to just basically load these three survivors that have bad that have problems into them fix them delete the community and they should go back to the legacy pool should first thing you should do whenever you use the community editor no matter what is make a backup and you normally cannot do anything so you want to click on the community we're going to be editing which is this one go to basic and immediately save what that does is save the entire save, all of your community, and all of your settings. We'll go to the Survivors tab, and as you can see, these are just the three default in here. We need to go to Advanced in order to fix this. If we go to Advanced, when you first go to Advanced, it's just the uh, part of the save that is dealing with that community that's happening right now. We need to switch File over here, and now this goes to the 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 entire save where the legacy survivors are that we need to edit. As you can see here, legacy save. Under legacy save, you'll see legacy survivors, and now you can see my 52 here. What I, what I needed to do was find the three problem survivors. Um, hopefully this doesn't take too long. Steven, no. I should be closing them as I do this. We need to find the three that have the problem. For me, it is Stephen Graytack, Venencio Malloy, I think it is, and Sully, Jeffrey Sullivan, Super Sully. They are all OG Red Talons. It is a problem with the OG Red Talons. Uh, and I will show you the problem before I attempt to fix it. And it is something that, at least from what my understanding, is only something that could happen with um, OG Red Talons. And what I mean by OG Red Talon is a Red Talon that was, you got probably about, Four, three and a half, four years ago. 
before um, they made um, Red Talons non-recruitable from the game, which they kind of never really were recruitable. It was just kind of a trick to get them recruitable from the Weapons for All mission. I did a whole thing on how to do it um, a couple of times. The latest one is in when I did my unpatched State of Decay 2 unpatched run. So if you're curious about that, you can look at that. I don't want to get into that here. But there is a trait that I found that is only assigned to those particular red talons. Uh, it was a nothing trait. It was just a descriptor. I don't know why um, they were the only ones that ever got it, and not all of them got it, which was weird. But for whatever reason, they decided to, uh, it looks like, delete it from the game, but they didn't completely delete it from the game. Meaning they, no, they deleted it from the game, but they didn't delete it from any survivors that had the trait. That is what causes the problem. So the survivors, why can't I find them, dude? What the hell? So the five survivors that have this trait, since the trait is no longer in the game, here's one, Jeffrey Sullivan. Um, it causes a crash because I'm, I'm assuming it's trying to look up that trait in the database of traits or whatever and the trait doesn't exist, boom, crashes the game. So that was a kind of a crappy way for them to remove a trait from the game. They should have done a patch that also went through all of your existing survivors and made sure to remove that deleted trait from any existing survivor that had it. That's what caused this problem, 100%. This great tech, no, no, come on, man. So it has nothing to do, as I thought, with um, modified survivors or um, an item they had. It has nothing to do with that. This particular crash has nothing to do with that. Here's Great Tac. Great. All we need to find is Venancio Malloy, and I think that is him. All right. So once you find the three survivors, w what I noticed after going through all of my survivors, all 50 at the time, I only had 50, I had 52, I went through their traits. And as I was going through their traits, I found one trait that only these three had that no one else had, and that was this trait, DLC2 underscore bodyguard1. What this trait does is nothing. It was just a nothing of trait that was something I'm along the lines of they were a bodyguard. But there are other bodyguard traits. Why this one, I guess they thought it was redundant is the only thing I can think of. And they deleted it from the game. But again, they didn't go through existing survivors to make sure no survivors had this trait. Which three of mine do, which causes the crash. So from here, we've got our survivors. So this one we know is Jeffrey. So I'm going to export him. you got to highlight the actual top. The other thing I could do, which would maybe be an easier fix, is to just fix the trait. Let's just change it to a regular bodyguard trait, okay? Let's try that. So that's not a valid bodyguard trait. Let's find one and, and switch them all to that. Let's do that. That may be the easiest way to do that. So we're going to go back to basic. Over here is the traits list, and over here we can search for a trait. I'm going to do bodyguard because that's what it was. And as you can see, there's already three bodyguard traits here. So that's the friendly name. When you go to strings, this is, the, this is what um, the game knows the trait as by code. Um, combo, career, bodyguard. So I do I want to do that one. So we'll add them one by one just to see which one I want to do. Combo, career, bodyguard. Let's do that. Combo, career, bodyguard. So let's open a notepad. You got to get this exactly how it's shown. Combo, underscore, career, underscore, because I don't want to give it, them an overpowered trait or anything. I just want to give them a trait, that bodyguard that replaces a, a valid bodyguard. Copy that. We will remove that from this guy because he did not have that. We may not even have to do anything with this, which would be perfect. 
So we're going to fix it. We're just going to change it. We're going to change it here and hope we already have a backup that this corrects it. Combo career bodyguard. Okay, so that changed his. And we need to find the other two. And hopefully, this fixes the problem. Yeah, because there's nothing else that says anything about the trait that I can see. Yeah, nothing in here that's readable or anyway. So hopefully, it is this easy. Again, wipe that out. Put that in there. Now there's combo career bodyguard and one more. We need to find who was that? Yeah, Sully. Super Sully is the last one. Where was he? He was way up here. Jeffrey is his first name. I always go by the last name. <laughs> Um, but this would be the way if to fix it the easiest way. Again, this is me just thinking outside the box. Um, I was originally going to import them into an enclave, remove the trait, and then delete that enclave and have them go back to the legacy pool. But since exporting them from here does not remove them from this legacy pool, we'd have a duplicate in there, and um, there's no way to delete that one because it has a bad trait, and when you highlight it, it crashes the game. So we need to fix him in the legacy pool, and this would be the only way that I could think to do it because there's very little you can do, at least in the community editor, um, as far as editing live. the survivors and again this is super super risky i don't recommend anybody doing this unless you know what you're doing because this could corrupt your save um i'm not even sure exactly what's going to happen that's why i backed mine up so at least you'll see me as the guinea pig if this video has made it online then obviously it worked here's jeffrey sullivan so all we got to do is find the trait here there it is but again, um, this will make a fantastic video because this is me fixing their problem and showing them how to fix it. So all three have been changed to that. Now, um, when you just if you just exit the game, you say yes, as long as it saves and does not crash. And then you just want to make sure it took the changes. So we open up Community Editor again. Go back to this community here, and yeah, it's already in advanced mode. We just need to switch to this to see legacy, and all I really care about is just finding one of them and then looking at that trait, and hopefully it stuck and did not revert it back to what it was. Um, if it did, then that means there's something else on the character that is doing that and i may have to do the other way it will be a test and i'll still do it just because I, I'm, I'm trying to fix this before they fix it here's gray tack let's go to traits and let's hope it is not reverted back it has not combo career bodyguard let's just make sure it's, it's not you know somehow weirdly added back in here okay We'll just let it save again. Who cares? Moment of truth. All right. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. Again, this, the video isn't that great because, again, I'm just recording straight from here. This is not from the Elgato, but it, it is what it is because I'm live debugging. I'm not concerned about video quality. The mic quality should be pretty good because I am using a headset. Let's see if I fixed their problem. IQ 4000 and then uh, UL. You should hire me. I should be doing your testing and fixing. Because they have to just now make a fix that would do this, which the fix would be to go through existing survivors, look for that DLC2 underscore bodyguard1, and remove it from any character that has it.
Look at that. Vincent Malloy works. Where's Gray Tech? Gray Tech works. See, now it's just a regular bodyguard skill. And super so my god, I'm a genius. I'm a damn genius, guys. I'm a damn genius. Sully, fixed. Fixed. So this is in Windows. Now we're going to go to Elgato and check it on the Xbox. All right, I'm loading it up on the Xbox. As you can see now, now it's going to see, you know, it says play here because I was doing it on the Xbox. I mean the Windows with Community Editor. So let's, we should see the file sync now. And those changes I made to fix the survivors should now come to here. And this will be the final proof that I not only debugged the problem, I fixed it. Okay? I fixed it. And I'm showing them how to fix it. So all they got to do is, cert, you know, make a patch that goes for that skill that's on, that trait that's on any existing, any person's existing legacy survivor and remove it or change it to the body, another one like I did, and you're fixed. Let's see. We may not see an update because it was just such a small. And I still haven't shown you how to go above 50 yet. That's another trick up my sleeve. So let's go through here. Where's Gray Tap? Moment of truth. Ah. Uh. I'm a genius. I'm a I'm a damn genius. Like, look at this. Look, no longer crashes. He's back, perfectly here. It was that trait. We'll go to Venencio. Venencio's fixed. And last one, Super Super Sully's back in action. Oh, this is a beautiful thing. Super easy to do. Well, if you're IQ 4000 like me, I know I'm being a dickhead brag it about it, but. I'm just showing, dude, I know how to do things, okay? And when I say something's a problem, I'm not bullshitting, okay? And I actually try to debug. I know how to debug, okay? I work in the software industry. And I, granted, this was a very simple, simple thing, but that's my point. This was a simple thing to debug and figure out, and I figured it out and fixed it before they did. Will I get credit for this? I guarantee you they won't because they never give me credit for shit. This is me cleaning up your mess, UL, once again. And again, I love the game. This is why I wouldn't waste my time debugging things. Got my survivor back perfectly how he was. Now all of my survivors are perfect. I don't have any more crashes. Look at this. Look at this. I'll go through them all. I do got to fix some things on some of the survivors, but that's all right. That can be done at a later time. See, this is a perfect example of how Community Editor can be a lifesaver. I don't have to wait for their damn fix. Fix the damn thing myself, and that's what I said. If I had Community Editor, I could fix it, and I did it. And its proof is right here next video how to go above 50 survivors you want to go to 100 survivors i'm going to show you how to do it